Alright, and welcome back to Life is Strange Remastered. Today we're doing episode 4, Dark Room. What's so dark about it? We'll find out. So, uh, yeah. Last episode ended with a twist. No. If you remember, um, we changed the timeline entirely. Real no way. So that Clarice done. Clarice dad's alive and now she's in the paralyzed in a wheelchair. Finally the good ending. Oof. No. Yeah, because the dad's alive. <laughs> I mean I guess you can think of it that way. Plus Max is like more respected in this timeline it looks like, so it's like good ending. Oh yeah, she's around. in the Vortex Club, yeah. Yeah, so Ooh. See? Good ending. How do we get in the Vortex Club? I don't know. Timeline skip. We're, uh, we're, we're, we're jumping between timelines. This is some Doctor Who bullshit. Holy shit. Square Enix. Square Enix owes me $50. Why? Uh, uh, I said so. The new. Uh, good. Wait, no, it's not. Just so y'all know, I have a very, I have a very stuffy nose, and it's just keep going on and off like every day. Uh, because in Florida, it's like, it's like 50, 55 degrees like down here. No, it's not 55, 65 degrees, like around 65 degrees like every day. Uh, so. Either I'm sick or either I'm not. That's 18 degrees. I think I'm not told. In Celsius. 10 degrees over my oh. area. Celsius. Yeah, there's, an 80%, there's an 80% chance that he is mental. <laughs> but yeah, there we go. There's um, Chloe in this timeline. Oh, no, the, the dead whales. There's still dead whales. No one's fault to clean them up. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. <laughs> You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, so Max much. actually yeah. kind of kept in touch with Chloe in this timeline. The worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. Uh, I still want to laugh and talk to you. letters. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. There you go, laser. See? There it here, is. I'd have no Look clue. at that. I didn't oh. this time. They did it for me. amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. You love the golden hour, don't you? Oh, shit. No. Kind of know how I'm not feel. a photographer. <laughs> at least. I mean, to be, and I think Hammy would because it's sunset. Yeah. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Okay. What happened? Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, Jeez. I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just... Happy I did get to see you again. 
They could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. She doesn't know Rachel Either? in this timeline. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. The snow and eclipse still happened. Hmm. Do okay. you think so? I uh, hmm? haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. She hate old alternate Chloe Not hates dead. hella. Talking. Truly, butterfly effect. The SUV should come and hit them again. What, and Max? Yes. You are one cool person. Oh. It's a pretty high-tech lair. Yep. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe. You're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive. When you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you can you bring me some water? So they changed the gar garage area, garage, into mm. Chloe's new room. The garage? Yes, that's how <laughs> Americans say it, garage. Uh, Snow globes are taking over. Where? Teddy bear. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Yeah. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Max, I've controlled Joyce. So cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high tech help. Nice. Chloe is still a punk at heart, but she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online.
Are you reading through the the old old notes? That was just like a text. That was just a... Okay. Have some water. Drink Stay up. hydrated, people. All right, time to get more soda. Oh man. No wonder my That's not what dry. I meant. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have I you meant ever water, heard about dummy. A podcast or something? And I, I, I drink soda because right I'm now. a soda addict. A podcast, dude. I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god. Oh, they were Power Rangers we covered friends. everything in flour, <laughs> even mm. my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Who? Yeah, who did Chloe hang out with in this timeline? Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. Hmm. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. Sorry, and I'm not bitch, trying to guilt not you. Again. That's what my parents are for. What happened? I'm playing Pokemon. Huh. They love you so yeah, much. Yeah, I'm not in the best spot right now. Or my mom and dad are so cute. <laughs> they always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. It means, for love of God, do not be something that can kill the swamper. Met oh, right. Oh, right, this is the American healthcare system. We have to pay for this stuff. Oh, shit, am I losing connection? No, you're fine. You're still here. No, you're still here. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I lost connection then. But, yeah, laser is, like... The, yeah, these medical bills and stuff. Is, is that is is that's that what the health, is that how screwed up the healthcare system in, in America is? That's that, I think that's almost exclusively the American healthcare system because everywhere else I've spoken to, I have friends all across the world. Everywhere else I've spoken to, they all they're either very reduced and minimal, or they're just completely free healthcare. Yeah, because um, in in the UK um, you have the NHS, yeah. and if Claire was t being taken care of in the UK, all of this would be paid for. Yeah, like in, in all honesty, it's cheaper to just fucking die than g continue living and go to the hospital to get your life saved. It, 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 when it's cheaper to just fucking die, uh, that's when you know you fucked up. It's a good thing we have free healthcare system in the UK. Well, unless you go private, but anyway. Can you pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe. Jesus. You're priceless. Uh, <laughs> Probably no proves the point later to mentioned. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be. Sad that it's cheaper to See, cheaper I'm to dine and take a care of yourself in America. System. Hmm. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always want to have Blade cool Runner. colored bangs like Pris. I know. I don't know what that is. Incredible with blue hair. Mm. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Hmm. Still there, Ari? He's, is Ari still here? Yep. Yeah. No. I'm still here. I'm just being very quiet right now. <laughs> uh, the nose. Good. Yeah. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. Alright. Uh, where's the 
da, 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 da. Then there's the overdraw. That's probably got the movie in there. Aha! Here's the DVD. <clears throat> uh, have you ever heard of Blade Runner Orange? Blade Runner? Yeah, the movie. Yeah. Heard about it, I haven't watched it yet. Me neither. I don't think I've watched it. This laser, is it similar to Power, Power Rangers in some way? What? Is Power is Power Rangers similar to Blade Runner? I've never watched either, so I wouldn't know. Okay. I assume I've seen everything. Ask, I guess we should ask Eddie. Yeah. Ha, ah, you hurt yourself. Now I'm gonna hurt you more. Rick. No, I didn't. We just fell asleep. No, I'm playing Pokemon, remember? No, right. <laughs> oh, your speed increased? Okay. You're not helping yourself in the slightest. <laughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me, and Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is a replicant? Mm. Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. <laughs> right. Let's explore the house in this timeline. Oh, looks a lot more clean. I have yeah. a towel. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Damn. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Jesus. Ooh. That's a lot. Let's see how different the texts are in this. Oh, right, of course. Uh, it's just so Victoria's. Uh. Did I just see Nathan? Yeah. Oh my god. Yes, we're friends with Nathan in this timeline. <laughs> uh. How's that happen? William. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. 
It's so cool. Good. Or I'd be a scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. His bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? Ah, good one. Being around you and Joyce again is... so... nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Well, it's a crazy weather. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. The Prescott family. You care about might be me bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. <laughs> More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. Damn. Uh. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William? Well, uh, that'd be a I just want you to again. know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. And uh, a step douche. Always. I know you will, Max. Huh. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. And a lot of other crazy shit. It was so great talking yeah. with you again. Blue air. You act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Ah, that's nice. These whales are just a preview of the tornado uh, to come. just about the whales. And the Prescott Foundation? Hmm. Jesus. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. Yeah, Metro was in too. I guess I can't change too. everything. Oh, look, oh, look at it. Oh, the kitchen's a lot more clean. Yeah. Choice is a food coupon boss. Oh, they probably need it. Considering what's going on right now. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Huh. They're drowning in debt. Just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. More stuff on the how screwed up the healthcare system is in America, it seems. Seriously, why do you have to pay yeah. to, to keep yourself well? Ugh. In the UK, it's free. With the, with, if we go for the NHS. Free to us, in a way, yeah. Yeah. If you go private, it's a different story, but, you know. So this was closed room. That's just empty. Ah, crutches. They bought crutches for Chloe. 
hoping she might walk again. No. Damn. Shoes. Shoes. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I guess we stopped growing up together. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. At least we never had to hide from step douche. Huh. <laughs> it's all about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? One town. A small town. Joyce. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Do you know Dave Madsen in this reality? Do you know somebody named David Madsen? Hmm. He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, I oh was just God. curious. You always were. Well, yeah, because nice she's, she's married to William, so she doesn't really think much of David. Hmm. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to really be left just alone. really just sacrificed his own Pokemon, even though he was gonna lose Honestly, anyway. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead Edbers. birds and beach whales outside our front door. Yeah. So maybe I should care for Chloe's sake. So day one we had a, we had snow. Day two we had an eclipse, and then in day three there was dead animals. Plus, hmm. you guys have to work too. Ah, oh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. It's too late for that. I have to tell you <laughs> how much I love God. seeing you and William together again. Max is in the water. He's been so doing through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. I'm still, I still can't get over that, is actually. Is William still the same? After she's a party girl this reality. Happened. For better and for worse. Uh. But always for the better. I I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. It sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Hope so. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. Oof. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Damn. Okay, this room's not changed much. Uh, I so. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. I don't know if I remember the, read the last one. I think it was Hammy. Might have been. 
So, do you want to leave this one, Laser? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anemia and loss of breath. As a doctor, I am committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. Your daughter is one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I am proud to be working with her. I just want you as parents to prepare for any and all possibility. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you would like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Best, Dr. Anton Fibes. Damn. Alright, let's, let's get the morphine. Bathroom. Oh, they have, an, they have another cabinet. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Yeah. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. Nothing here. Well, uh, thank you, thank you for that. Switch that off. Save the world. Okay, uh, back to Chloe. Even though it's, uh... dying in this game. Literally, because there's dead birds and whales now. Oh, is the... oh, it's open. Oh man, the swing is gone now. It must have been sad for Chloe when William took it down. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV, and they use her shitty tube television. Damn. Okay, Chloe, here you go. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. And there it is. <laughs> Alright, let's look at these out photos. Is that okay? Perfect. Yeah, Oh my god, look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. No. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. They used to be pirates. 
Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. <gasps> the photo that changed everything. Picture only five years ago. Oh no. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Maybe I could. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Choice time. Are we accepting her request or are we refusing? I say we refuse. I, I can't do this. I'd refuse as well. Um, yeah. Uh, same. Like, I don't know why you'd kill your best friend even if she was suffering. Hmm. Sorry, Chloe. can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce and William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Okay, that's manipulative. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Yes, that's Chloe. kind of manipulative, Chloe. I am never leaving you again. Like, I can't, I can't do this. It... Hmm. 